Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, eh, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Easy. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. Okay. So, then a knife throws my horse right into the like Some of them others back there sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Look, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. Get here!
No, I'm watching them. Um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Sitting here downloading videos. Yeah. I'm trying to like keep up with my account. I'm at 16 on my videos. Yeah, boy, deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed them. Well, I'm at 17 now. So now when I, cause you know I'm gonna send you all um when I send you all these, it's gonna be um red dead um, part seventeen. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. So yeah, you're gonna be getting four more then. Cause I stopped at 13. Well, so far it's gonna be four more. Hey I don't know man. how many I'm actually gonna be recording tonight. Whoa. I'm gonna give you and your Whoa. daddy about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, I'm just, we don't I'm want no just trouble. getting here. We just thought you might like to know we passed the big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Here. Okay. Here come the rest of them. Your pals here. It's a big shootout. That wasn't so big. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. Behind the wall in the bedroom. Oh, keep an eye. The sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. So, here we are. You got some good stuff. Oh shit, got the gun already. Why don't you see what else you can <laughs> find, Sean? The gun was the first thing I got. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. Alright, alright. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. So you want me to give a part of actually pulling that gun out and showing it? Gotcha. Hey, let me finish. Let me finish writing the rest of the house, and before I leave, I um, look it up. Yeah, I'll pull it out. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? 
All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. Down with all the inside of the house. You say there's horses too? Uh, I guess I scared them off when they did the shit. Cause they're not here now. Alright, how you do the examine? Oh, I see it. Okay, here you go. There we go. That's the view I need. So there you go. You got a before and the after. <laughs> 